Hello YouTubers, Killer Linkin Park 1 with a something different. This is going to be my horror DVD collection and opinions. So let's start with my favourite Nightmare on Elm Street box set that contains all seven films. Part 1, Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. Um, part 3, Dream Warriors. Part 4, Dream Master, Part 5, Freddy's, no, sorry, Part 5 is Dream Child, then Freddy's Dead is Part 6, and then Part 7, the final film, which is Where's His New Nightmare, which is completely different because that is basically the cast playing themselves, and they, it's, it's quite weird, but it's good. Part 1, very sinister, and yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, part 2 wasn't as good as Part 1, but I did enjoy Part 2. Part 3 is just brilliant. Probably one of my favourites. Part 4, I liked that. Part 5, it was okay. Part 6 wasn't good at all. I wasn't too keen on it. But I, I did like the beginning and I did like the chef scene and I think there was a comic book scene. I liked those. Apart from that, wasn't too keen on that part six. I was I didn't like it apart from the power glove scene. That was the only good scene in that movie. And part seven was different. I did get a bit confused because the actors were playing themselves, but it's still a good story. So there's that. Freddy vs Jason, I've watched it many times and just to let you know the person who plays Jason is Ken Kersinger and not um, Kane Hodder and that's why he wears the silly um, Frankenstein boots. He's actually a good Jason. The only part is that he doesn't take off his mask, he only takes off like the nose piece. Robert Englund as Freddy again. He was brilliant. Definitely improvement from part six. And I did like the fight scenes. And my favourite scene is when that dude is in bed and Jason just butchers him. And uh, he shoves the machete up one guy's ass. That's just funny. Nightmare on Elm Street Remake. This is basically a remake of part one. It's more darker. Freddy is now played by Jackie L. Haley. Now, there is one problem is with the original Nightmare, you see the kids before Freddy's attacking, attacking them. But in this one, Freddy's already attacked them and you don't get to see what they're like before he attacks. And he's dark. This Freddy isn't as like what's the word I'm trying to think of? He's more of a dark, serious, still killing people, but with the other one, he's more comedic. He doesn't really care about anyone and he just does what he wants. This one isn't as the same. But there's that. Still good film. Now we got my other favourite franchise which is Friday the 13th. My favourite is part 6. I love the idea when Jason comes back 
and they use um, Tommy, Jarv Tommy Jarvis just goes to his grave he digs up the grave he opens Jason's coffin he just gets the fence post stabs him leaves it and then the lightning comes out that's just awesome and the ending's pretty good and this is probably the only one where you get to see kids actually at the camp when Jason's killing so that's great now we've got the box set just to let you know I bought part 6 before buying part this box set. This box set has all of them from part 1 to part 8. I am missing the remake Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell but this one has part 1 to part 8 and I do have Freddy vs Jason. Part 1 is brilliant. I love the fact you don't know who's killing until the end. It isn't Jason, it's Pamela Voorhees, Mrs Voorhees' mother and shocking ending part two this is Jason's first appearance he has the sack and he looks more like a hillbilly he doesn't use the machete very much he uses a pickaxe and the ending was kind of more shocking than part one because Jason smashes through the glass and I think that's like, very cool how the woman confused Jason by putting on the jumper. Part 3 that is just brilliant. First time Jason uses hockey mask. And I love the scene where he says, drop your wallet! And then he harpoons the woman. So yeah, that's very cool. And that also has a shocking ending where Jason gets attacked by the axe and then he gets up and he chases the woman outside of the cabin and she's trying to escape with the boat part 4, it was okay we see Pamela's tombstone and the first appearance of Tommy Jarvis played by Corey Feldman and he actually kills Jason part 5 is more like part 1 where it's a mystery you think it's Jason but it's actually Roy who's an imposter. He starts killing because his son got killed. We already talked about part six. Part seven is more like Jason versus Carrie because we have this woman who has telekinesis and she fights Jason using that. I enjoyed it. It's not the best. Jason looks awesome because he looks more zombified. He's all decaying. He's got chains. He's got propeller damage from part 6. It was alright. Part 8, it was basically Titanic meets Friday the 13th. Did like the guitar, the guitar kill. And when they go to New York and Jason gets attacked by acid. And that's Friday the 13th, I don't have all of them. Now we got my other favourite, which is Saw. This is a good storyline, and it's very psychological. It's got torture, and there's a cool storyline at the end. And the killer in this is called the Jigsaw Killer, John Kramer. He basically has cancer and he starts um, torturing people. This is the direct cut saw too, it's more, I'd say it's more gorier, there's more torture. And the first one was in a hospital, this one is in Hit the Jigsaw's house. They have him captured and they're interrogating him. This is a Saw 3 Extreme Edition, this is where... Jigsaw is dying and he gets a doctor to help him, a woman. He gets his the wife's husband to do the games and at the end the husband basically kills off Jigsaw. 
basically part four. This is when carries on. It's very odd because at this point Jigsaw is dead and they're discovering who is copying him, who is carry on carrying on from his work. And yeah, so I don't have part five, part six or part seven, but I have seen part five, it's very similar to part two. And we have a detective who wants revenge. So yeah, now we'll look at Chainsaw Massacre. This is the prequel, the beginning, where we get to find out what Jig, uh, Leatherface was like, what he was doing before the actual Chainsaw Massacre, what the sheriff was like, all the storyline before the first one. So that's pretty good. Um, hang on. Now we have the remake, which stars uh, J um, Jessica Bill. Very good. I think it's better than the original. I don't have the original, but I know it's more comedic and a bit silly. This one's more serious and more terrifying. And I enjoy it. Now we've got Scream. This is a guy who's watched loads of horror films and he's basically getting the phone, stalking them by asking them questions about movies and then he goes into their house and kills them. Similar to part two which is similar but this time we have two killers. Uh, I enjoy it. I have seen part three and four. Part 4, The Woman Was a Killer. Now we have Scary Movie 2. I have seen the first one, which is... These uh, scary movies are basically um, parodies to horror movies. They just do it more sillier and more funnier. I think the second one's the funniest. So now we have Final Destination, where some person basically has these predictions on how they're gonna die and they try and break the chain and stop from other people from dying but unfortunately it doesn't work so yeah that's fine destination and now we have going to pieces which is a documentary starring bruce campbell and he just talks about horror movies I haven't really seen much of it so I don't really know much so yeah that's all the DD collection and my thoughts bye